everybody, this is Dream, and today we have a eight-game slate here on college basketball. We have a lot of good teams playing today. We have big games between Kentucky and Michigan State, and also Kansas and Duke, and then we have a bunch of other games. A lot of these games look like they're going to be pretty close, and so it's a really good slate, I think, for college basketball. Uh, with that said, let's get into the players we do like. We're going to start with uh, Severe Wheeler for Kentucky. Now, I only played in the second game so far this season for Kentucky against DeQuinzen, but he's averaging a ridiculous 1.56 point per minute uh, on a uh, fancy point per minute for Kentucky. He should play 30 to 35 minutes in this game, uh, and uh, he should uh, typically Calipari does play him a lot in these big games, and he should have a really strong outing here. Um, he has improved his shooting from the from last season as well, which makes him hard to guard. Uh, then we'll look at uh, Jalen House uh, for New Mexico. Um, he should play about 34 to 35 minutes for Mex for them. Um, he's been really good in the first two games, as you can see, and he's averaging a whopping 1.29 fantasy points per minute. Uh, he's just been really solid start the season. He's got a ton of minutes, and so we really like that. Then we look at Jamal Mashburn Jr. for New Mexico. He's also getting a ton of minutes. He's not quite as good when it comes to the points per minute at 0.88, but he's good enough, and he's been pretty solid in the first two games, so I look for him to continue that and not an up-tempo game for New Mexico. Uh, then we'll look at Grady Dick for Kansas. Um, now, obviously, this is a tough matchup against Duke, uh, but he's been really solid in the first two games, and I expect him to continue to be good here. His price point is also pretty reasonable, and he's averaging 1.02 fantasy points per minute. Uh, then we'll get Dejon Harris for Kansas as well. Uh, he's another guy that looks really solid today. Um, he's uh, averaging uh, 1.02 points per minute as well, and he should be able to get about 25 to 30 minutes in this game. And I expect this game to be pretty tight. Uh, then we're going to look at uh, Zach Nutel uh, for SMU. Um, his price point at 5,200 bucks uh, puts him at just. Just under 0.8 fantasy points per minute, and about, and he should play around 30 to 35 minutes. Uh, but I do like his upside in this matchup with the price point that he's at. Uh, then we'll look at Phelps for SMU as well. Um, he's got a nice plus matchup here. Uh, he should play, you know, 35 minutes in this game, and he should have a good opportunity to have a great game. He's averaging almost one fantasy point per minute. And so he's definitely got some upside in this matchup. And then finally, Braden Smith here for uh, Purdue. Uh, he should have uh, some decent upside here, a good opportunity uh, to have a good game against Marquette. And he's averaging 0.7 fantasy points per game. He's kind of a cheap Hail Mary option because, then again, in the first game, he didn't do all or second game, he didn't do all that well. But he has some upside at this price point. With that said, let's get into the forwards. So we're going to start with Oscar Sheway here for Kentucky. Now, he's a wild card because he is expected to play, but we're not sure how many minutes he's going to play. But if he looks like he's going to play a full complement of minutes, then he should be good to go here. Um, this will make uh, Lance Ware. He will go back to the bench, and he will not be playing likely for Kentucky, or not very much at least. Uh, Zach Eady uh, for Purdue. He's one of the safest plays on the board. Obviously, he's super expensive. Uh, but he's averaging a whopping 1.8 fantasy points per minute, and he's getting about 25 to 30 minutes so far in the first two games. I expect him to get closer to 30 in this tighter game here and be able to just absolutely destroy the matchup. Uh, he's a great play, and Sheebway's kind of a secondary play because we don't really know about his minute situation consistently, and so that is a concern. Uh, for Uduzi, for uh, New Mexico, looks like he's in a pretty good spot here. Um, New Mexico should have a good game here against against uh, SMU, and uh, he's at 6300 bucks. He's averaging one fantasy point a minute, um, and he should be playing 25 to 40, 25 to 30 minutes in this one, and I expect him to have a really good output. Uh, then we'll look at Samuel Williamson for SMU. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. Um, for for 5600 bucks, um, he's been really solid the first two games, averaging almost 32 minutes a game, and he's near one fantasy point per minute. So I do like him a lot on the slate. Um, and then we got two more guys here. Osiris e. Igudara from Marquette against Purdue. Uh, in his first two games, he's pretty solid. His price point's really good. He's averaging 1.3 fantasy points per minute. Uh, then we got, uh, finally, last but not least, Colin Smith for Vanderbilt um, against Temple. Um, he had uh, the first game he didn't start, and the second game he did start. 
and as you can see, his output rose dramatically, and he will be starting again, so I expect him to have a pretty solid game, hopefully averaging around 25 to 30 minutes a game going forward, and he's got a nice he's got nice upside at this minimum price point. So with that said, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to leave them below, and have a nice day, guys.